Um, I'm Helen Mason, and this is my office in the Faculty of Mathematics. So I always start my working week um, thinking about what the tasks are that I need to do that week. In a, in a research project, we would be specifically trying to answer some questions that we've posed about uh, the sun. Explosions, solar flares, or jets of gas, or all sorts of things like that. And with the outreach projects, then I would be studying a particular aspect of the sun, of space, of polar sciences, and we would pose some questions that then we would, we would address. I have a team of researchers in my group here at Cambridge and we work together. I work with international teams on different research projects. We've worked with people in the USA, people in Europe, people in Japan. I personally love to work with teams of people and contribute, each person contributing their own skills to that team. One of the spacecraft I've worked a lot with is SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. We would, in advance, design the instruments, so I would have an input on the science that we need to achieve and how that affects the design of the instruments. Um, and then when the instruments are built, they need, need to be tested to make sure they're working correctly. And then they're integrated on the satellite with different instruments. And then they're operated from different locations. SOHO had a whole suite of instruments which were able to study the inside of the sun the solar atmosphere and the solar wind that flows off the sun. The instrument I was particularly interested in was looking at the light that was coming from the atmosphere of the sun. The hardest part of my job, um, I guess some of it is very challenging because what we are trying to do is we, we observe the sun and we see a lot of detail and then we need to try and explain those with modelling, that's mathematical modelling. Tying those in together is quite difficult. If I could give advice to my younger self, I think I would say have confidence in what you're doing. Because as, as a child I was not very confident, I was always lacking in that confidence. And it, it was unusual for girls to do science or to be interested in science and maths. Nobody ever discouraged me from doing that, but I think it was unusual and I would say have confidence that you, sh you can do that uh, if you want to and, and my lifetime has proved that. I've really enjoyed what I've been doing. I've been supported by all my male colleagues. So, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed the work that I've been doing over the years. So I would say have confidence and follow your dreams. So if you want to do science, if you're interested in it, don't let anybody tell you that it's not something you should do. Ask lots of questions, look at the world around you, wonder at the universe, and, and take an interest and find out uh, about the world around you and, and um, don't let people tell you that it's boring, it's not boring, it's really exciting and really interesting. <laughs>